This review is of this unnamed Chinese um, car phone holder. And as you can see from the image here, it has an arm that allows you to adjust the position um, where it is relative to your rear view mirror. And they say it's 360 degrees. I don't, <laughs> 363, 360 free rotation uh, doesn't really make any sense because this is a maximum of 180 degrees free rotation. Um, and it's only on the X, you know, the X, Y, it's not on the Z. So it doesn't really make any sense. Product parameters. It's the product name is phone holder number ZJ099. Here are the size, the weight. It's made of ABS plastic. And here's uh, the installation instructions, which actually were slightly useful. Um, but I will go through it with you anyways. So this is a lightweight product. Um, this is the part that you connect to the mirror. So, it, and um, it, is, it is adjustable. Now, I haven't measured the, um, how adjustable the disc, or how thick your, or your, from top to bottom your mirror ha can be, but it has these two clamp releases on the back and then there's the arm which actually comes with this screwed into here so we'll have to unscrew this and then assuming you don't want to block any part of your mirror you're going to have it facing this way and then you're going to screw in that i'm planning on putting it so that the, the phone is on the other side just to experiment with, with that so you tighten it down um, and then you need the last two parts. So there's this piece here. So I'm going to put that right there. And then the last piece comes in its own little plastic bag. It's got some chroming. It's, it's all very lightweight plastic, but it's fairly durable. And again, there's a clamp mechanism here. This is a maximum of 3.75 inches or nine centimeters. Um, so it does uh, it does have a fair amount of tension, especially um, especially as you get toward the maximum uh, width of the phone. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I checked, and the maximum um, width of the mirror can be about three and a half inches. Um, in metric, it's going to be about. Hmm? It's about the same. Uh, eight point. What was it eight point? What? Eight and a half centimeters. Okay, so you take, and here it is. I've got a phone. You will have to make sure that the the clamping claws don't push down on the buttons. So, like this phone, I've got the power right here and the uh, volume here. So I have to have it off center. And we're gonna try it. So you put the ball into the socket, and then you're gonna tighten that up according to where how you want it positioned. And this allows you to either do a landscape view, I guess you could say, or a horizontal view. You could even do it upside down, since that's actually the top whatever you want, and then you just tighten it up some more on this ball joint. Um, I'm not sure how tight you can really get it, but oh, it's, it's, it's pretty tight. It's, it may eventually be jarred out of place by, um, like if you hit something or if it's a very bumpy road or whatever, but it seems to, uh, seems to hold the weight fairly well. Let's give it a little test. Yeah, that's good. Now I'm gonna turn it. Yeah, that's good there. All right. So I, I have a different kind of phone holder right now. It's a big rubber thing that's supposed to sit on the on the top of the dash. Um, but unfortunately, the sunlight hits my phone and heats it up so much it starts slowing down and malfunctioning and stuff. So I took it and I put it um, on the shelf of the, the da dash display. And that no longer is a problem, but it's blocking part of the display so I can't see some of the stuff that's on 
the one side like the temperature gauge is obscured and and the uh, rpm uh, gauge is uh, obscured and then a couple other things um some of the some of the lights so with this i won't have that problem obviously it's going to take away some of the real estate from the windshield which is why i'm going to position it so that's like this this is the mirror um so that's the one that i've been using for quite some time now and again when it's up here winter is not so bad but in the summer the phone just bakes and heat causes electronics to fail so i put it down here and that no longer is a problem but as you can see the temperature gauge and some of the lower lights down here and the rpm gauge are obscured by that so i'm not happy with that um but otherwise i, I, I liked it all right, so I'm having a problem mounting this. I tried turning it this way uh, because mounting it the other way wasn't working because of the um, knob to change it from day to night. And now it's getting in the way of the stem that holds the mirror in place and also the this part here that is mounted on the glass. So I am not sure what to do now. It may be that this is useless. Hold on. All right, so I have got it mounted now, and I had to do some adjusting. So these these pieces here fit on this bar, and if you can see, there are these little ridges that run across the top uh, of these of that bar and the bottom uh, of that bar and that bar, and that allows for some fine control over the distance. So what I had to do is I had to bring these all the way forward to the end of the, each bar and then mount it and then readjust the positioning, making sure that the rubber pad is actually underneath and in contact with the mirror so that it's not going to move around. So the stem is right here and the day night switch is right there. So as you can see, that still works. Um, now I just have to um, get the phone on and we'll see how it goes. All right, so again, this um, once, <clears throat> Once you've loosened this up and you get the mirror, um, it, get it on the mirror, sorry, you're going to want to tighten these back up so that it's holding, the, it's gripping the mirror very firmly. Um, so you just pinch, just like the, uh, the um, clamps for this. And this is really easy to do. And I think it's going to stay put. Um, so now I've got my map app open and I'm going to, I don't know, it's not, oh, that's right. I don't have a, <laughs> this phone doesn't have a phone number for it anymore. That's why it's not doing anything. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's all set up and I can loosen up the nut up here and I can put it in a different position like that. And that's about as far as I can go realistically, unless maybe. Okay, so I've got it like this. It's a little bit of a blockade there for seeing out the, the windshield, but that's not as critical as seeing over there and back there and back there. Um, and I can adjust the angle because of the ball joint. And yeah, so actually this is probably going to be pretty good until the plastic is so damaged by the UV sunlight and heat that it falls apart. But until that time, for five bucks, this, was, this seems to be 
a pretty good deal. I'm looking forward to trying it out. I probably will end up putting this on this side or underneath so that I can more easily see the map. Like, in fact, I think I'm going to do that right now just because I'm thinking that'll be a better position. Well, bad news. The uh, bolt stripped the plastic inside here, so I can't tighten it up all the way. Um, so that's a bad thing. They didn't line the hole with metal to make sure that that couldn't happen. Um, but at least I now have a really nice position for the phone uh, that is easy to see um, and doesn't block vents, doesn't block... Um, the dashboard or anything else. So I th I'm pretty happy with this overall. Um, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.